Anthony, hi. Hey, Christina, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How's your shift going? Ah, it's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. busy out there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a busy day. Yeah, it's hectic. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you. I've been seeing you going around all day long, but I have this patient. It's really weird. We've had him on the board for about a week, Mr. Q. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he came in and he had all these signs of pneumonia. Okay. Like a bacterial infection. Okay. And so we started him on antibiotics. We've had him on some penicillins, and then recently we just started him on carbapenem. Mm. And he's not showing any signs of getting better that these antibiotics are working at all. Really? Even... Carbapenem. Yeah, and so I was watching on the news, and there's a lot of talk going on around about the NDM1 thing that's going on, and he's just recently traveled, he was in India with his daughter. Okay. He just recently came back from India. Um, so I was wondering if you knew anything about it, because I don't really know yeah. what, we're going to have an in-service in a couple of weeks, but... Yeah, I actually just researched this, because yeah. I saw something on the news about oh, cool. it. Uh, so basically what you're saying, you're right, it, it sounds like it could be something to do with the NDM1... Yeah. Um, case, cases that are going on, and the NDM1 gene yeah. causes bacteria to produce the NDM1 enzyme, mm -hmm. which makes the bacteria resistant to like broad spectrum antibiotics and okay. antibiotics that are really, really powerful, okay. and carbapenem is one of them. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's quite yeah. serious. Because I heard carbapenem was the main one that people seem to be showing resistance to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and the fact that he's recently been to India. Yeah, it's another great indicator. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So. so now that I know that, should I be contacting anyone about it? Yeah, you should actually contact this Center for Disease Control. CDC, okay. Yes, the CDC, okay. um, if you suspect that somebody might have it. So you okay. know that he's been traveling to India or Pakistan, mm -hmm. which are two places that uh, it's really rampant right now. Mm -hmm. um, and you know that he's resistant to carbapenem and other yeah. powerful antibiotics. Yeah. Yeah. And so he could or he could not have it right now, but say he does actually have it, mm -hmm. what you're going to want to do is use regular contact precautions. Okay. okay. And the in-service will also say this. Yeah. You're going to want to put on gloves and gowns. Okay. Would I need to wear masks or goggles? That depends on how he's manifesting. Say if he has pneumonia in his coffee. Okay. Droplets if it's, and yeah, things like then, that. Then yeah. Then you would want to put okay. it on. Okay. Um, and you want to make sure other patients don't get it because yeah. it can be passed along. Should we be moving into a single room? The other patients seem kind of nervous. There's been a lot if of talking going it. on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you, it'd be best to have yeah, them in a different room. room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and uh, the doctors prescribed a new antibiotic. It's a uh, colistin, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like an older antibiotic. He said something about it might work. Older antibiotics seem to work better. Do you know yeah. about that? Yeah, I do actually. Older a antibiotics might work against it. There hasn't been a lot of research done yet because it's still fairly new. Mm -hmm. um, but older antibiotics, they're speculating might work against it, yeah. they might be sensitive. Because we haven't been using them as much, so they're not really out there. So. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that could work potentially. We don't know yet. Okay. There's just not enough information out okay. yet. Um, but w another thing you want to keep in mind is the relational aspect. So you want to... Oh yeah, that's big. Yeah, yeah, because if people are hearing about NDM1, yeah. it's getting yeah. blown a little bit out of proportion in yeah. some areas with the media. Yeah. So just be careful on how yeah, you relate to him. His daughter seemed really worried and stuff. So yeah. Just, I guess just explain to him like you're explaining oh, to me. Well, give him a little more ease when he's yeah. trying to deal with this. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I have full confidence you're going to do great. Great. Now you know a little more about it. I hope that was great. helpful. Thanks. I'm going to go get some uh, coffee. Yeah, you probably need it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, bye.